In this video, I will be showing you how to create clean and professional cinematic title right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. What is up you guys, Ecube here. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's watch again our cinematic titles, what we actually create today. Alright, that's perfect. So you may watch some of the cinematic sequence and you create and maybe put some of the cinematic titles at the beginning of the video, which look really amazing. So today tutorial is all about the cinematic titles, how we can create a cinematic title for using in a cinematic sequence. So without further any ado, let's jump to the video. So first of all, you need to create a simple title in your Premiere Pro sequence. How we can do that, we just go to the text tool and write anything, whatever you want. I'm just simply write cinematic title and now we can be edited for edited the best option edit it with essential graphic how we can do that we just go to the windows and here you got an option of essential graphic my sure it will be checked and now a new panel appears at the very right side and here you can see that is everything is here you can be change your text you can be change your fonts you can be change your color size whatever you want every single thing will be editable right change is font first of all and change it to Sigoy and that is default phones every premium pro version have this Sigoy phones and you can be use it very simple and very easily right when just select Sigoy UI and now I am changing it to semi bold that's perfect and now I have to be align it with the centered align text and now I have to be adding some of the spatching to make it like a cinematic feelings right there I'm just spatching it to 280 that's perfect for me you may also use this spatching value that is perfect I want to make it smaller and just change its value to 80 that's perfect and now the last thing we have to do is to align and now we can align it to a very center right that's perfect and now make it to bigger like 10 seconds 10 seconds right there and now we can be working with essential graphic like to make our cinematic feelings now we can be do it animations and now we just go to the effects control if effects control is not appear in your premiere pro don't worry about it just go to the windows and here you got an option of effects control my sure it will be checked and now we working with our effects control and here you can see that I am just working and um, just go to the opacity and now at the very beginning I'm just making a diamond here and now I am just decrease the value to zero and at the two seconds I am just increase the value to 100 at the two seconds I am just increasing the value to 100 and now you can see that that's perfect it is just moving with a zero opacity to the hundred opacity and now I am just going to the six seconds and now I am just make an other diamond with the same value of hundred opacity and now I am going to eight seconds and now change opacity to zero And now you can see that is a perfect looking cinematic title so you may watch some of the cinematic sequence for a famous youtuber famous photographer or videographer and that is really amazing you can be maybe change your size you may change your layer you can be change your animation time or whatever you want to be changed and now that's a perfect you can be also customize the title after that that is super easy you may know so after that I want some of the blurness in my text how we can do that I'm just go to the effects and search here blur just simple blur we don't need to be search anything what I will do with large the title and just search blur and here you got an option of Gaussian blur just put to your layer and that's perfect now we also again go to the effects control and a new appears Gaussian blur here we just go to the very beginning and before applying Gaussian blur I suggest you to make every keyframe change to auto bezies that's perfect so at the very beginning I am just adding a blurness to 50 or maybe a 60 60 is perfect and now as you can see that when I move a go the title is still blur so I'm just change its value to zero and now let's watch it 
that's perfect that's really perfect and now i am an other mega diamond with the same value of zero at the six seconds same like that we are adding the opacity options right there keyframes down so we're just adding a 60 blurness right there at the very last watch it again yeah that's perfect that's really amazing that uh, just a two or three steps as you create a cinematic title for yourself for your cinematic sequence right so uh, if you want to add uh, some of the extra line at the very at the bottom of cinematic title how we can do that we just not need to adding uh, some of the keyframes, frames same like that and working it may be a time consuming we just make a duplicate layer of cinematic title by holding alt and create a duplicate right there and now we just also so go to the essential graphic now i have to be change the cinematic title i'm just go to the scales make it smaller yeah that's really amazing your text appear with the blurness and then it will be clear automatically slowly slowly and it's really feel you like a cinematic title it is perfect for the cinematic sequence so here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you do subscribe this channel with a post notification follow me on instagram and like this video and comment if you have any question everything will be appreciated or if you have any video suggestion also let me know in the comment section share this video with your creative friends thank you so much for watching this video till and peace out